Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a glove box that opens too fast, it drops, it doesn't open smoothly, it shouldn't be that way and we will explain how it can even affect your car in some cases to the point that it can actually kill your battery. So all that will be covered in this video today. Very simple fix, we will explain with that glove box completely removed how the uh, system functions and all that stuff so you know how to repair it. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here, the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything why we do all that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys want to see where to buy cheap fuses parts from uh, for your glove box or your car anything at a really good price check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's explain what we have here specifically that's a bmw that we have guys and on that bmw we have a problem okay where the glove box opens really fast and you wonder why right it shouldn't open like that maybe yours used to open really nice and smooth but now all of a sudden it just goes nuts guys it just drops so what can easily cause that now if you come right here on one side of your glove box box and usually you can see it from the inside on most models okay like this thing right there okay that's where you have a damper okay and that damper you can pull it out if you turn in a certain angle but often you have to remove actually guys the glove box itself to be able to reconnect it in some cases you don't have to on, on many cars you just have to uh, remove actually the stops of the glove box push them to towards the inside and that lid will come out but that damper often will attach to the glove box lid right here and often it will come loose or people will not install it correctly and that will make it actually guys come loose and when it comes loose it doesn't function correctly when it doesn't function correctly the glove box opens way too fast it drops which is irritating guys so now okay i'll come right here i'll press it where it's supposed to be now let's go ahead give it a try see how that glove box will open now Check this thing out, nice and smooth. Let's go again. Wow, that's the BMW way. So you can see, uh, we've seen nine out of 10 times will be disconnected damper and one out of 10 times will be a broken damper that you will need to replace, but it takes only a few seconds. For instance, that damper actually has the switch integrated in it for the glove box. You can see where the wires are and it detects if the glove box is open. When it does that, it's going to activate the light. And if that damper uh, came loose to the point, guys, that it was, it was disconnected, but it was stuck in open position, your glove box light may be uh, on all the time and uh, it can actually even kill your car battery guys eventually it can make it weak so uh, it's very important to fix it on time if you want to see how to remove glove box we have videos on our channel for multiple cars that's on bmw uh, 528i hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time